2024 PSU admissions were around 700 and 800 gate score. Prestigious course machine design on IIT Bombay had a cutoff of 840. Coming to computer science, it was around 854 gate score. So what is this gate score and how is it three years valid? Is your admission and your recruitment in PSU is based on your mark or your gate score, or are they both the same? In this video, let's check out what is gate score. Let's analyze gate score. Through a simple example, suppose there are two shifts for an exam. Take a civil paper. There are two shifts for civil paper. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. The morning paper was easy and the afternoon paper was tough. So the people who wrote the morning shift will be getting a higher mark compared to the afternoon people because the paper was easy in the morning and it was a little bit tough in the afternoon session. So what happens is that the morning people will get higher marks and their possibility of admission and all the opportunities will be higher for this morning people right since gate is an all india examination its score is valid for 3 years this cannot be determined by the easiness or the hardness of one shift so because of that after the gate examination with the result not only the mark that is obtained along with that a gate score is also provided from the gate authorities this is the normalized score for 3 years based on that paper simply telling This score is used to normalize the toughness or the hardness of your paper. So what happens is that after the results are published for the same marks, the easier paper will have a slightly lower gate score, and the tougher section or the people who or the tougher paper for the same marks will get a little higher gate score. And this gate score will be totally normalized over the three years of that gate paper. This is the same funda which is used for the comparisons of years also. For example, in this year, mechanical paper was very easy. compared to last year so what happens is that for the same mark of last year the gate score which is which is going to be given for that same mark will be a little bit lower if your paper is tough don't worry it only matters how much you perform, perform in that examination and if your paper is easy it is easy for everyone so you have to perform well it doesn't matter if your paper is tough or your paper is hard the only thing that matters is your performance in that exam So that is why the gate score is made on our gate papers, and the gate score is going to vary from zero to thousand based on your mark. How much greater the marks, that much greater the gate score. For example, if you want to get eight hundred or nine hundred gate score, which is a very good gate score, you have to attain about seventy or eighty marks. If you want to get thousand gate score, you must be all in the rank one. Now coming to the cutoffs of the gate paper, we all know that the cutoff vary every year based on the toughness, but you have to understand that the gate score does not vary. The gate score for a cutoff is 350, and it is same for every year, every branch, and every paper. It is 350, and it is fixed. Why? Because 350 means about 35% must be the performance, or 35% mark must be scored. That means that within the thousand gate score, you have to score about 350 gate score to be qualified, and your qualification cutoff for each paper in each year is derived from this 350 gate score. So you have to understand that the cutoff will vary based on your gate paper toughness and easiness, but the gate score for the cutoff will be always same. It will be three fifty for every paper. If you want to roughly calculate it, this is my method, but it is not accurate. But just add a zero with your mark. For example, if you got around thirty five mark, just add a zero with your mark. That will be three fifty, and just plus or minus fifty. That will be the around gate. That will be the average gate score that you are going to get. If you got forty marks. you are going to get about 450 or 350 between that you are going to get your gate score it may be for 500 based on the toughness of the paper but it will be around that for sure so use that to find your gate score i hope your gate 2025 went well and all the best for an upcoming preparations i'll see you on the next one